Page 44, blue suede shoes. Now there's a note at the bottom of this. The eighth notes can be played unevenly. They say a bit unevenly. The idea is you swing them. This is a swing piece. And swing, rock, and jazz, you can swing the eighth notes. Don't play them even. Like so. And when you're first learning it, you might play them even. So you get the rhythm right. And once you learn it, then you can swing the eighth notes. Keep in mind there is a quarter rest for the last beat on the first measure. All right? Don't cheat it. It's got to go. There's got to be four counts: one and two and three and rest and. Because it's a half note on the second measure, so you hold it down for two counts. All right? There is a difference there, and it's an important difference on measure four in the right hand. That is a 3 2 1. Right? Not the only fingering to do there, but that's all right. You're in position. Now, I don't want to make this over to complicated, but I'm going to suggest some alternate fingerings, and you can disregard them if you don't like them. But at least think about them and maybe try them out. Measure 5, you're starting out with a D, G, and 4. For the eighth notes, I suggest they're saying, what are they saying, three, Anna? I suggest you do a four, three on the eighth notes, the first two, and a five, four on the, the two Bs. The idea is to use different fingers on them because it's surer here than using the same one. It's also not as tiring, believe it or not. On measure seven, they're saying a thumb on all those notes. Yeah. I'm saying three, two, one for the first three G's. And then three or one, three for the first chord and one, two for the second. This piece can move. No, it's not really fast, but it can move, and so it's a lot safer fingering to do that. Even on those two chords, the third beat there, those G and B, to do a 3-2 B. It's good practice anyway to use different fingers on repeated notes if you can. On measure 13, you can work out the fingering for those Ds if you don't want to use a little finger on all of them. That's very awkward. Uh, I would prefer to do a, if anything, a three-one or a one-three. Doesn't matter. But for the last two beats, the low Ds on measure thirteen, I would do a two-one rather than a one-one. And then for measure fourteen, it's a two-one for the first two E's. And then for the last G, do a one and hold that down. It, it, to me, that's just an easier pattern. On measure 16, on measure 18, top of page 45, I would do a 3-1-3 for the first three notes. To me, that's easier than 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And a 3-1-3 for the next measure. And a 3-1-3 for the next measure. Measure 21, I would do a 1-3 at first. And then for the two G's is a 4-3. Now, for measure 23, you have a, G, a 3 on the first G. One on the second. Isn't that something? They give you a different finger, huh? For the two chords, I would do a 3-2 for the B. <laughs> okay. uh, a measure 26. The, the two Ds is fifth finger is fine on both if you want. 
But then the, for the G, I'd do a two. So I could do a one on the whole note. Uh, for measure 29, you can work out whatever fingering you want to use there. I don't care, but I would still use the 2 1 fingering for the last two notes. And then a 2 1 for measure 30. And then a, a 1 for measure 31. That's the right hand. In the left hand, there is another common, we ran across this before, this is a typical accompaniment pattern for a boogie woogie, in this case it's a swing thing. Take a look at measure 9. You have this pattern. Right. I recommend, if that when you run across that, that you use a 2 on the first beat of each measure. So the thumb isn't doing everything. in that pattern throughout because it happens in several places. Be aware on measure 13 in the left hand that is an F sharp because there's an F sharp in the key signature. This is in the key of G. Okay. Uh, measures 15 and 16, if you're using a 2 on the first beat, you're gonna, when you get to 16, use a 2, go ahead and just use a 2. 3-2. That's fine. Now, at measure 17, and this, this pattern is quite uh, for the next couple of lines. For that first beat of the measure, I recommend a 5-2 rather than a 5-1 because the thumb doesn't have to do everything. They have the thumb doing it all. It's not necessary. You can use the 2 on that first one. It's better when you get to measure 21 anyway, because at measure 20, you're leading into it with the thumb. It's it's easier if you play the the beat on 21 with the second finger. A measure 24, you're here, and you come come up and come, lead down. In the 25 again, it's 5-2. Last beat of the piece, that last note for the left hand, in case you're wondering. You should be able to count down and figure out what it is. But, it happens to be a G. And a hint would be, it doesn't have to be, but a good possible, a good guess would be, if it's in the key of G, it's probably a G to end with a key. Now briefly, I want to talk about one little rhythm problem you may have. This happens in a couple spots. Now just pick out one of those spots at random. Let's take, for instance, measure 13. Okay, it happens again in measure 29, but we'll work on 13 in the right hand. Take a look. I'm going to play it straight eighth notes without the tie. We have a one and two and three and four. Okay, that's the way it is. Now there's a tie there. So if I add the tie, it's one and two and three and four. So you don't play on three, you've tied it over, right? One and two and three and four, all right? Now if I put in the rocking. So let's try this out really, really slow. There's a little bit of pedal in it when you get to these you know, the whole note left hand and the repeated stuff. I'm, I'm going to leave out the pedal and the whole thing. I don't need it. You can hear it better without pedal anyway. We are going to repeat over on page 45. See the first four lines repeat. Four, four times, so I'll give you four counts. Right hand here. Yeah, left hand here. Okay, then the hands will be moving around some, so you play with me one hand at a time for a while if you have to. That's fine. Not a problem. One, two, three, and go. And... <laughs> 